This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Hey gang, Larry Vickers, Vickers Tactical Channel. This is a BCM training tip on full auto control. We've had a lot of great comments in the various videos. People compliment me on my ability to control the weapon in full auto. I wanna thank you for that. Now I wanna share some of my insight on how to do that. And even though you may not have a fully automatic weapon at home, this technique does apply to you and can help you control your semi-automatic weapon better when you fire it on the range. First off, you gotta be aggressive. If you're neutral or balanced, the gun's gonna push you back. It's gonna push you back semi-auto, it's gonna push you back even worse full auto because you don't have the time to recover. Remember, there's another shot following it down range immediately. So what you gotta do is, when I grab one of these guns, this is my BCM training gun, I got a full auto lower on the bottom, but this is my normal training gun upper that you see right here. I wanna grab the gun along the bore line, just like that. All right, so, and when I grab it, I wanna pull it straight back in my shoulder just like driving a stake into my shoulder. I don't want to get down here because I'm actually below the bore line. Anytime I'm shooting one of these things on the channel, if you watch, whenever possible, I choke up and I grab the gun along the bore line if at all possible, all right? Positive pressure straight to the rear. Then I also want to call is kind of wringing the towel, all right? So I want to grab the gun and kind of cinch it down with my pecs and cinch it down in this format to lock it in, to get away from the squirrely stuff I want to grab the gun and kind of cinch it down as I'm pulling it straight to the rear. Last but not least, I've got to lean into the gun. I can't have a neutral stance because I could do everything from my waist up picture perfect. But if I don't do the right thing waist down, the gun's going to push me back. So I got to bend the knees, I got to get on the balls of my feet, and I got to stay aggressive. All right, so let me show you the wrong way to do it. Everything looks great up here, but I'm kind of neutral. And then watch what happens with the gun. The gun's pushing me back because I'm neutral, I'm flat on my feet. All right, now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna make sure I apply the technique correctly with the lower body. Bend the knees, get on the balls of the feet, and lean into the gun, all right? Looks like this. All right, just like big difference on your ability to come back on target. The other thing is that red dot's gonna give you great feedback. You're gonna be able to see that red dot coming back to essentially the same area. If you see the red dot, like my aim point here, and it starts to climb, that's telling you you're doing something wrong. Almost always related to your balance, all right? Once again, coming into it, bend the knees, lean into the balls of my feet, and come back up on target, like that. All right, get another mag in the mix here. Once again, to show you what, the way to not do it, upper body's good to go, but I'm neutral and flat on my feet, and check it out. You can see from that protracted burst there, it starts to push me back. Now, the only thing I'm gonna change is, bend my knees and I'm gonna roll into the balls of my feet where I'm leaning forward. Hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate your feedback. BCM full auto training tip, and where does that apply for you? Real simple, you gotta stay aggressive on the gun. If you feel too comfortable, too balanced, chances are you're not aggressive like you should be controlling the gun, whether it's semi-auto, long gun, submachine gun, personal defense weapon, rifle, it doesn't matter. You gotta stay aggressive and lean into the gun. Have a good one, LAV out. Hey, Larry Vickers here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to the Vickers Tactical Channel and take time out to check out some of our other favorite videos.